Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state. If you couldn't tell by the architecture here, we are in New Mexico, and I'm pretty excited because this is not a style we've seen before. This this is the, the traditional Pueblo style, or at least is inspired by it, uh, with, with traditionally a, a mud brick construction over over a wooden frame used for the roofing and uh it's it's i suspect going to be very different from any of the houses that we've seen before uh, i am although gonna pick on it right away <laughs> that this uh the grass you are in the desert why is there a lawn what you're gonna build a pueblo style house with a fucking lawn are you insane no just let it be a natural landscape put in rocks or sand or you know some some sage brush anything not a lawn get out of my face all right this is by the way a, a 17 and a half million dollar 21 bed 26 bath house i i expect we're gonna have multiple houses on the compound uh, but because I think they're going to be all kind of cohesive and that is within the architectural style uh, to have multiple buildings or interconnected buildings, I, I say we just go with it because I want to see what this has to offer. Okay, we've got a giant sculpture of a head here. Um, it's unique. It's distinctive. You're not going to have trouble giving directions to your house. If you see a giant fucking head, you've found it. Good job. Uh, we can see that the whole house so far is done in this style. I don't know what the modern materials used to create this style are. Um, I did, I, they didn't actually list the age of the house in the listing. They did have a note that said that the main house is a, a, repre a perfect representation of 1930s uh, Pueblo style, which... I don't know if that means it was made in the 1930s or if it was modeled after the 1930s. Uh, who's to say? Not me. Um, all right. We can see. Oh, there's there's the giant head. And it looks like a lot of the house must be underground. I assume that's what's happening here. Got a gate to keep the riffraff out. We've got an intercom and everything. That's a big ass gate, too. Look at all that grass. This is breaking my heart. You're killing the planet. You're killing me. I'm going to explode. Why? Why is there so much grass? Ugh. All right, we got some big old trees. Got a tree swing. I like a swing. Um, I got to wonder how much water these trees are using. Uh, they just have to have sprinklers on 24-7 to keep this all going. All right, we got some covered seating here. Uh, it looks like we're going with, with some old style furniture. We're going traditional. I don't see a ton of windows, which is with the style. You know, you don't want a lot of windows where heat can get in. These, these houses are, you know, it's, it's kind of the opposite of the big open air, you know, let the breeze through because you're in an area that's so hot that at this point you just need to insulate yourself against the heat. A view out into this garden area. I mean, it's, it's beautiful landscaping, just you really could have gone with something a little more water friendly. Here's the front door, nice woodwork on the front door. And here's the entryway. We've got rough brick through this front entryway. Big, beautiful paintings in here. We're really embracing art. The walls are white, but you've got... Uh, so much artwork. You've got the red brick. You've got this this nice old old rug here. We're really leaning into a historical style. Uh, look how rough the the ceilings are. Those those are original. That's that's how you build between floors in these type of houses. I think this one was probably built in the 30s. Looking at this, I mean, this is the the historical style. This is not a recreation. Um, really cool you've got a skylight i think unless that's a, a light light but it, it looks like a skylight uh you got a, an exposed rafter through here i'm i'm geeking out i'm just gonna geek out on this one i'm fair warning yeah it looks like we're gonna have 
brick all the way through, which doesn't surprise me. That is the building material that makes the most sense here. Um, if you had wood floors and you think about the extreme temperature changes that this landscape goes through, it gets, it gets pretty darn cold at night and then it gets blisteringly hot during the day. I mean, when we have wild temperature swings, I've got wood floors in my house and you can hear them popping and creaking all day. So you've got the brick and the brick stays cool better in, in the heat. We do have some, some multi-levels. I would take a crack at the lack of accessibility, but I'm assuming this house was built before that was anything that you would consider. All right, that fireplace is so freaking cool. The velvet couch, I am gonna rip on this velvet couch. That shouldn't exist. Especially in the desert. You don't wanna sit on velvet in the desert. Oh my God. Can you imagine how like, weird and moist and sticky it would get Ugh. Ugh. all right uh, we got some some interesting sculptures here the floral on that couch is atrocious um but yeah this is a, an old chair there that's very cool you got nice details on this um the walls are all white, but but again, you're, I mean, you got this bright red carpet. You got the, the wood rafters running through. There's enough to break it up that it's maybe, you might need something on that wall there. That's that's really all I would point out. All right, you're coming up here where the, the living room is behind us. Uh, we've got a Grecian vase. I don't know what that's about. Uh, but we're coming up to this dining room here. We've got yet another fireplace with a really badly photoshopped fire in there. I mean, it's a, it's a small little bit to Photoshop in, so good on them for trying. We do have the wood floors in here, so it's not brick all the way through. Um, I imagine they do creak and pop a bit, but we might be in a more interior area of the house. I didn't see much in the way of windows here. Yeah, there's there's not much window here. I assume there's one behind me and then there's one in front of us. So we're, we're not getting the full brunt. Here we've got some stone flooring in this little, uh, I mean, it, anywhere else this would be a three seasons room. I assume this is a four seasons room in New Mexico. You just get to use it all year round. Uh, beautiful ceilings again, except what is that? Why? You drilled a can light into this beautiful ceiling. That's a war crime. I'm calling Geneva. We're convening the convention. Ugh. Got a little wood burning fire here. Fucking can lights. I can't. Um, and then, you know, this all goes out onto the patio. Nice indoor outdoor space. Good woodwork here. Terrible Photoshop on that. What? It's it's a wood burning fireplace. You don't need to, you don't need to Photoshop the fire in there. You could just leave it be. Ugh. Right here's this patio. I mean, you do get a lot of nice shade from these trees, but oh boy, I bet they use a lot of water. Oh, this is a nice little reading room. Uh, that's a better Photoshop. It's still clearly Photoshopped, but a better Photoshop than we've seen before. You're learning. Uh, the setup of these chairs is a little strange. You got your back to the couch in either of these chairs. Built-in bookshelves, really nice in here. The, the angle of the wood slats in here, that is so detailed. Like these, if these went straight across, that would still be a gorgeous ceiling. And they've done this kind of herringbone shape here. That's, oh, those ceilings are gorgeous. All right, we're coming down into, this looks like maybe a little family room down here. We've got a projector here, but I'm not really seeing what we project onto unless there's a, a screen that can come over this. That's interesting. Um, another badly photoshopped fireplace in the corner. Uh, lots of Lots of storage set into the walls. The modern doors on these storage areas, they look a little strange because, 
I mean, b between the way it curves into the wall and the wood beam overhead, it looks, it, it's very clearly an, an old fashioned style there and the doors look too modern. Like they're not even that actually modern, but everything else looks so, so old. I would, you know, maybe, maybe if you left them a more natural wood color, maybe that would solve it. Uh, and that this just shouldn't be white, but as as it is, it looks like you just slapped them onto a, a, an old cubby hole in the wall. I see they've figured out a way to play chess with four people. I I'm really curious to learn the rules to that game. I wonder if they laid the wood floors down over the brick because they didn't like having the rough brick in living spaces they wanted to be able to walk around in their socks without getting brick dust on them um that would make sense to me Ooh, all right this staircase is interesting i do this this wood that's too new of a style i mean it's not new new this this was i don't know i'm clocking this as maybe 70s 80s if this is a 1930s house i mean this this railing here that's clearly original but i'm wondering if maybe they laid this over tile stairs i would expect to see tile stairs in a place like this um but those are obviously a little bit dangerous so maybe they laid wood on top of them oh we've got this is the most intense baby gate i've ever seen in my life and also i bet a baby could fit through there they're squirrely um <laughs> your dog your dog could probably fit maybe you can only have a big dog in this house um, but yeah, having a, having a gate like this at the top of the stairs is a little intense. Are you imprisoning people? Is that the idea that you're, you're imprisoning people on the top floor of your house? Or maybe this is so when your house is invaded, you can barricade this, put this, and you hide up in the top of the house. Hmm. Oh, we've got more barred windows. I've, I've seen barred windows on the outside of a house, seeing them on the inside. That's, that's new to me. I see we've made a trip to the Yankee Candle. Oh, they painted the wood beams. That's a that's a war crime. That's awful. Why would you paint those? Oh, A it looks awful. B you've ruined that beautiful wood. See, now the entire room is just a sea of white. Why would you want that? The that wood was you haven't used much color on the walls in this place. I don't know if these walls are even very easy to paint because of the material, but the, the wood was doing such a nice job of breaking up all of the white. And I'm, I'm upset about that. That one's got me cranky. Another photoshopped fire. If you're wondering why we need a fireplace in every single room of the house, it's because they don't have central heating in the desert and like i said it does get pretty cold at night you just light a fire in whatever room you're in you're not paying to heat this whole place we have a landline why what is with rich people in the landlines i don't get it it's it's 2022 people get the memo those are obsolete i'm wondering what are uh, this might be air conditioning I, I bet that is those are air conditioning units that are built into the walls I wonder what it took to, to do that. And I, I mean, I'm. there was no way to run air conditioning through the ceilings of these houses without further ruining the actual ceiling construction. And the way these ceilings are constructed, I don't know that you, unless you did like a drop ceiling under this, there's really no way to do that. So these must be individual per room. And they must have just drilled them into the wall. It's it's like a window unit, but they've installed it in the wall. That's an interesting way they had to work around it. But they painted that too. That's disgusting. I hate that. I'm so mad. I like that cabinet though. Yeah, you could see you got one of those in every single room. I bet that's what that is. Made another another trip to the Yankee Candle. I think this is the master bedroom. Again, you've painted. You've painted the wood. You animals! Why would you do that? Ugh. We got a living room adjacent to the bed. Why? Right, another room. And more painted. 
What is this? Every single room you painted these? That's so sad. And another landline. The atrocities. They just never stop. All right, we've got... <laughs> that's that's a really bad Photoshop there. Uh, we got a giant bathtub in the bathroom. The bathroom does not look that big, probably because it's an older house. Um, but they probably did have a freestanding bathtub in here before. And so this is this looks like newer tile. This was probably all renovated fairly recently. And here's the kitchen, which is so outdated. Holy shit. This is like from the 80s. Oh my god. This is a 17 and a half million dollar house. You couldn't have tossed 10 grand at a kitchen remodel. These cabinets are atrocious. None of it, I mean, it's not like there's anything original that you actually needed to maintain in here. The tiles are new. The The lighting is awful. Is that fluorescent? Jesus Christ. Uh, these tiles are new. The countertops are awful. And then those cabinets. Those cabinets are just atrocious. What is this kitchen island? It's freestanding. It, it, sure, it matches this countertop, but at what cost? Why is there a library step stool in here? Did you steal that from the library? Okay. All right. This section. How did, oh, we, we've stepped back. This section looks much better. You've got a, a more historical sideboard here. This, you should have taken this piece of furniture here and modeled the entire kitchen off of this. And this, I'm okay with the stainless steel over here and, and the gigantic stove with, with all of this. That's fine. We, we expect to see those kinds of things in, in nice kitchens. And then just model the rest of the, the entire kitchen off of a motif of this with this, you know, the, the worn wood and the light blue and, and the old uh, bits of metal, you know, you could have done that and it would have looked so cool and so nice and it would have fit. You could have done blue tile in here. This is horrendous. All right, this is more of the kitchen. It looks like that was... If you, if you continued on through there, here's where we've got, I don't even know, are those, those are the dishwashers there on either side of the sink. Are those ovens or toaster ovens? I don't know. Um, this little table we've got sticking out of the wall, uh, shape-wise, I guess I like it. I don't like the stools, they just look uncomfortable, and I... Definitely don't like that it matches the countertops because the countertops are awful. Um, are these shutters? Those might be to outside, but you can't actually see through them. So either they're wide open. Um, it doesn't look like you open them ever because you got knickknacks on the shelf here. The, the glass, the glass work in these cabinets is actually quite nice, but the woodwork is awful and there's a way to get around that you ch you restain it you s you know what you've got the money you've got the money you send them out you get that fixed and you do away with all of this hideous crap all right we're outside we can be upset about the grass now this is nice and familiar i am upset about the grass i like this table that goes around that tree though we got a pergola we got some nice covered seating um all right here's the covered seating those are those are nice little cushions there i think those are those are probably hand embroidered or something like that a nice historical bench looks like maybe it came out of an old church somewhere those are cool touches you're leaning into the history of the place all right i mean that that's a gorgeous view right there look at that that's so well maintained and, and the wood, the dark wood against the red, the, the red stained mud is, uh, that's gorgeous. And then these huge, those are chili peppers. Those are drying chili peppers. 
man, I, I get like a string of those in my windows and I feel like I'm I'm being so like classy and kitchen witchy. That, look, that is intense. Whew. All right, we got a breezeway through here. That looks really cool. Another seating area out here. This one's a little more modern. They have really maintained this wood well. I will give them that, except for the ones that they painted or drilled can lights into. And for that, they should go to jail. All right, we got another sitting room here. I like these. Look, they've got the little cubbies carved into here above that. That's a cool touch. Uh, I believe this is the TV. Oh, no, they've got it. That's a projector screen. They've got a projector set into the wall there. That's intense. Um, another velvet couch. Why? Why? You're in the desert. Please don't make me sit on velvet. I'm begging you. Here's another view on the room. We are <laughs> looking at a, a desert scape because we've planted too much grass. So now we have to go look at a projection of the desert on a screen so that we know what it looks like. Did they? <sighs> they drilled fucking can lights in the ceilings. I am going to lose it. I can't do it. I can't do it. All right, we're back outside. We are being soothed by ivy on the mud brick walls. We've got some nice, I'm, I'm ignoring the grass. I'm ignoring it. We've got some nice, more native, more water friendly plants here. Hard to ignore the grass here. All right, we've got a path through the unnatural grass. Some nice big planters. This, I think we're, I think we're probably coming up to a second, like a guest house or something. Uh, we've got another wooden pew. Um, that's pretty cool. I love this lantern. That is, uh, that's very old, I suspect. And a very cool detail. I don't know what that is up there. I'm curious about that. Maybe, maybe that's collecting water? Oh, shit. This is... This is just like an auditorium here. Wow. You could you could host the, the school prom in here. And I don't know what's going on over there. That's intense. Oh, I'm not sure exactly what this is, but I don't think it's a hot tub. It might just be like a, a go cool off and, and sit in the water. And, and that's... That's a very cool thing to have this room centered around. It looks like you've got an eating area here, lots of sitting areas. This is, this is the party room. I mean, this is, this is where you post your, this is where you host your parties and, and people can go stick their feet in the water and cool off. This is, I mean, it's a, it's a strange space, but it's a cool place for that purpose. Oh, this is so cool. See, this is what... This is what the landscaping of the entire place should look like. You've got, you know, your, your, your stones and your wood chips. You've got the, the covered areas with all of these, these twining vines and creepers. This is a cool bit of landscaping. All right, we've got, this looks like another uh, three seasons room. That's actually a four seasons room. I'm hoping that there's a, a floor plan of this place because I'm I'm a little disoriented. We got a rock garden. Hey, that's the kind of that's the kind of garden you should have at this house. And that's over that that covered area with the the chili pepper strings. More views of the garden. Flowers. We're back inside. I'm not sure what house we're inside. These th I think this is a newer portion because these are not original ceilings here. This is, this is why I was so sure that the original house was built in the 30s. Because you look at the ceiling, this is how they would recreate that style in more recent years. I mean, you look at, you look at the edges on the walls here, you see there's more of a corner. It's not round going in. Because this is a recreation of the style. And you end up with these sharp corners because those are just easier to make. Um, you could also see we've got, we've got radiant heating built into the walls here because they were able to do that. We do have more artwork, which is really nice. I don't know what function this table is actually serving here in this hallway. 
I think they just didn't know where else to put it. Oh, we've got a conference room. We hate a work-life balance. We need our office to be in the home. Um, at least they've got another big, beautiful piece of art here. they got a big wall of windows. The fluorescence hanging from above. You know what? At least they didn't. At least they didn't drill can lights. All That's all I'll say. And another office. Did you build an entire office building on the property that you live on? Fine, I guess. At least you kept it separate from your actual home. All right. We got a very stiff, stilted looking sitting room here with a table in the middle that is far too tall. What is this room for? This is like a waiting room to get interviewed or something. You got a landline. And again, yeah, this is this is what it looks like when you recreate that style and you could see they've got a they've got a, a vent for for central heat or and probably ac they've probably got ac running through the ceiling because they built it after ac became a thing we got a path this is this is still a bit green for the for the landscape but at least it's not grass it's more diverse oh we got birch trees Man, this might be northern New Mexico. I'll have to check. Hold on. Nope, this is Santa Fe. It's it's not quite as arid desert as, as you know, you get when you go to Albuquerque and, and south of there, but it's, it's still desert. It's still the desert. All right, we've got another kitchen in the, the second house, the guest house, the office house, whatever it is. We're sticking with the... the faux rafters running through even though this is a newer part of the house though these cabinets you know the the counter and the backsplash i don't know if that's actually newer or if it's just a style that has endured a little better than what they were doing in the other house here's the bedroom we've got the skylight with that same uh design with the the wooden slats over the skylight, which is how you get the the sunlight through without getting all of the heat through. Um, so that's a nice touch. And I will give them credit. I don't see can lights here. They've gone with wall sconces. That is a much more responsible way to be. Oh, we've got a greenhouse. That's cool as shit. All right, I am into this. It looks like it's kind of modeled after an old mission church. That's also very cool. Oh, look at this, all the cactus, all of the, the natives. So you do know, you do know what kind of plants and greenery are supposed to be growing here because you've got it all in your greenhouse. Oh, this is incredible. Look at, look at that. I think that's an aloe plant. Oh, this is beautiful. And there's, I think that's a rubber tree plant. I I would be in heaven in this greenhouse. Oh, what a what a cool place to have. Oh, we got a sign for a Bodhi tree. It doesn't actually have any information about this particular Bodhi tree, just why this one is, is sacred to Buddhists. All right. Oh, no, 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 we do have some information. It's a letter from the Dalai Lama that they've had and script it on a piece of stone in here. Uh, the, so the Bodhi seeds were sent to them directly from the, the Bodhi guy that, holy shit. I mean, if, if you are Buddhist or, or just into Buddhist culture, like you could really geek out over this. They've got a Bodhi tree growing on the property from the seeds of the Bodhgaya Bodhi tree in India that were sent by the Dalai Lama. Holy crap. I love it. That's probably, you know, I think that's, I think that's the majority of the, the worth of this property. And in, in my, in my opinion, it's probably not correct in a, an objective sense, but in a, in my heart, yes, it is. All right. We've got a nice little balcony seating area here. 
it's interesting they've got something it looks like they've got leather wrapped around the tops of these posts i wonder if if weathering was becoming an issue and there was you know maybe they were moisture damaged or sun damaged and and they needed to do something to protect them yeah and look at that view oh boy I, you know, I'm not much for being up on a mountain, but they are nice to look at. I'll tell you that. And another, I think this is all the rooftop. I think there's just a lot of rooftop space that you can use because, you know, the, the roof doesn't slope. It's all flat. So why not make use of it? And here's the garage. Those are some old, this might be a stable. I don't know if this is, that. you could use that as a garage, I guess. Those are some intense doors, though. There's the statue. I'm wondering now if this is supposed to be the Buddha, maybe? I don't know. I'm, I'm not really sure what to make of this. And that's New Mexico. I mean, I, I knew that I was excited for this one. I knew it was going to be different, and I was right. It's, I mean, it's very much in the local style, very historical. They've, they've maintained the historical details for the most part. They, they damaged a few of those ceilings. I am pissed about that. But I will say that they, they maintained a lot of the history. This Bodhi tree is so cool. Uh, the greenhouse. Oh my God, I could go on about the greenhouse. I think this might be my favorite house now um, that, we, that we've seen so far. Because it, it does not reek of one percent or bullshit. I mean, there's there's certain touches. The the landlines are weird and and one percentery, um, but mostly this is just a, a very cool old historical house. Um, the lawns could go, the if they would fix the landscaping, and make it a little more eco friendly. I think this one would be a, a slam dunk for me. All right. Well, that's that's New Mexico. It's about everything I was hoping for. Uh, if if you saw anything that I missed, if if you are geeking out as much as I am, if you're from New Mexico and you've got any thoughts about this, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and have a good one.